How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to another Hydroneer 2.0 video and today we are we're going treasure hunting. Now if you don't really want to spend your time looking around for relics and in all honesty it can be a pain in the ass after you've done it a couple of times like myself. I've done it a few times and I don't really want to keep repeating the process and you're always looking for that more simpler way to do things. You know a way that you can just sit there and just go I wish I could just find all the relics without bothering. Okay so here we are way back at Ember Cradle where you start. And it all starts from this place. Now, if you have installed this mod, and you can go off, if you haven't installed this mod, go off and install the mod. And the tool you're looking for is this. The Relic Finder. It's £576. Or what you can do is go into creative mode and then just steal it. And then what you do, you right click on your mouse. And as you're, as you're clipping through... It's showing you which ones are closest. So with the spyglass is 44 metres away. The goblet is 503 metres away. And so on and so forth. Now because we're, ne we're next to the vicinity. We're going to be looking for the sword. It's just 33 metres away. This is a fun little mod. So I actually know where the sword is. I'm just going to see how close it gets me before I have to dig. Bang on. Right okay so it's within 2 metres of my square. Within two meters of that there, I'm going to need a pickaxe. So I just wanted to show you this. If you look at the actual like blip on top, it's saying that we're a further away from the actual sword. Now if I bring this into the hole where I'm digging, keep an eye on the blip. So it's within one meter, two, one meter of this hole here. I think that's actually it. <gasps> da, 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 da. So yeah, there we go. We found the first relic. Yay! And the other relic, I know it's around here because it's literally, it's good, it's right underneath this build. And I don't really want to dig down to it, but well, actually, the next one is the spyglass. So it's seven meters away from where I am. Five meters, four meters, three meters, two meters. Oh, so it actually, is where where it actually is is right below all these machines. I don't really want to go and get it. The only reason why I know is because I've dug them before. But this is a really, really good little thing. Through for all those people out there who like don't want to go looking for guides or anything else, chuck this mod in. Grab yourself the relic and get the relic hunter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find all your relics and you're going to want to come back to Ember Cradle. You're going to want to take a wander all the way down this road. And on the left hand side, there's a cave. And in this cave, you can take four of the six relics that are within this game, and you pop them on top of here. And then once you've put your four relics upon the plinths that are inside this wondrous cave, you open up the door. And there is normally treasure here, but I'm not going to show you what the treasure is. That's for you to find out. You know? Joys of Easter eggs in the game. I'm not going to show you what it is. Just be happy the fact that you can find it. Quite simply now. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you find um, some treasure. And some easter eggs and some bits and pieces along the ways and happy hunting at the end of the day it's a nice little mod it's a nice little addition to the mod section for all those people who just want that little bit of a shortcut so thank you very much for coming by this has been hybrid steel if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like subscribe and notification button below for all other updates and i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this video until then thank you very much for kicking by peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do a boom fist bump to you